at Penn State as well. And she puts it into play here as the women's final is underway. Underneath it, Megan Pinson, the 27-year-old, played it. And a penalty going the way of the experts. Right to it, quickly they go. Johnson gets it to the outside. Into the hands there of Emerald Mays, the young 22-year-old. Love the experts here, pushing the pace. They have some momentum. They want to capitalize on that. To the outside, trying to slip through there to the five. Great offload and the finish. Oh, that was pretty. Put down there by Summer Harris Jones, the captain. Summer Harris Jones exactly where she needed to be on this play. Saw a bit of space, dummy, didn't want the cut. Goes for the gap, great support line. She tracked back into the ball carrier, running away from the defenders. How about that offload from Karen DeFreitas? Summer Harris having a fantastic tournament here today. She is, yeah. She really is. Bird has been really good for them as well. Neil Johnson's made some plays for him too. Back to it here. Time goes quick in these matches. We're already a minute and a half plus in, just seven minutes per half. Here come the loggerheads trying to break. Still moving it north, right up the pitch, all the way out near the halfway line. Great offload by them. They try it again, and it works. And they're going to try to get this in right between the sticks, and they do. Oh, what a finish. Beautiful play. Angie Olukumi, the 21 year old, takes it home. To see when players start a play and finish it, that's exactly what happened here. Some great interplay, offload, and making it look easy. That's a very difficult skill off the shoulder, and sometimes that ball bounces right in your hands. And Ola could be finishing that try. Great pace, and again, the support line. When defenders are chasing back, they're not going to give up. You always have that in the back of your mind. Pop the restart. Track down, right down beneath us, played by KB Slaughter. <laughs> Early call on the experts. Great turnover, quick tap here. They want to keep this pressure on. There's space on the outside. Nice move there. Working her way to the left, into the middle now. Taking a look back, instead, hanging out of this ball is Manu Hutu. Knocking on the five meter. Great counter ruck there. Back over to the experts. Down by two. Three and a half to go here in the first half of this women's final. Hear the call there from the referee. Green six offside. Johnson plays it back. Low ball outside. Good hands over there to pull it in, though. Good quick tackle over there made. By Kiwi, captain of this team for the loggerheads. Here's that loggerhead smothering defense again. They've been doing it all day, making it so difficult for teams if they're not deep to be able to get out of their own end. Here come the loggerheads. Short pitch to work with. Can they get it in near side? No. About three meters out. Good little dummy there. Offload on the ground, diving to put it away. Beautiful finish there. I believe that was Sophia Purs that put it down. And it is. The dummy didn't quite get there. Great peace of mind there. Knowing that the offload's on support players. So a 12-5 count here. With two minutes remaining as they try this kick. That is not an easy kick. Oh, off the crossbar. And no good. Be the difference maker. Crossbar challenge. <laughs> A lot of respect for the men and women that play this game. That is not easy to do with those kicks. So less than 90 seconds remaining. Captain on the experts, you're going to want to be trying to change this momentum. Slow, stagnate. The loggerheads momentum. Take your opportunities if you can to increase yours. Loggerheads, here they come. They want more here. Up by seven. Late stages here in the first half. There's an injured expert player way behind the play. We play on in rugby. And this one, they're going to take it in. Smart play to get it between the posts there by Layla Opetti. She puts it down. Great power. 
beautiful line from Opetti. She could see it. Wide line fever. If she knew she was going to get it done, she was not going to take no for an answer. Some footwork here to set it up. This is the finish. Uses her feet back outside. Again, she works to try and get that ball closer to the post, but some fantastic stepping. And they lead it 19-5 here. Experts need to do something now to change the momentum of this game. It's going all loggerheads. Ideally, it would be get a score right before this half. It's going to pick your team up. Going into the huddle, it's going to be able to give the coach something good to talk about. Oh, oh, no. There it is. May's got cute with a ball. This one's going to cost him, and it's another try. And this one put oh, down oh, oh, oh. by Olukumi. The 21-year-old gets her second of the half. That could be deadly. Olukumi having a fantastic tournament. Reads it so well. And offload just took too long to set up. She jumped the route. And again, sometimes that's a 50-50 play where it doesn't pay off. And in that one, it absolutely All loggerheads here at the halftime break. Again, they were down 5 nothing, but they have reeled off 20-plus points here to close out the first half here in the women's final here at PayPal Park. 26 in a row for them. And they're on top here at the halftime break in the women's final. Impressed at how calm she is. That is not an easy <laughs> skill to manage. You're sprinting, you're, you're reacting, you're playing, you're getting up off the deck, you're tackling, and you're telling your teammates what to do and communicating the space. Very, very difficult skill, and she makes it look easy there. She really did. So great stuff there, a mic'd up segment. That is Ryan Mattias, Ben Holden with you. Madison Hughes down pitch side with us as well. And the women's final here, the loggerheads. So well for the USA team for years, but that game management, it, it proves crucial here in these final moments. Again, when to go quick, when to slow it down, when to go for a line out. You know, understanding where your points are at, um, how much time is left, and Abby Gostitis did that very well in the previous game we just saw. Mm -hmm. And again, Katie Dowdy making that a point. The experience will show here if the loggerheads can continue to manage the game clock properly. Katie Dowdy, USA Eagle number 201, product of Boston, Massachusetts. Her team now, Jessica Liu had it, gets it free. Loggerheads, 26 consecutive points here. Leading this by 21 in the women's final. And they are on the hunt for the try zone again. Outside, trying to break the tackle there was Manuhutu. She's dropped. Some room now to the back. Burrs ran by there, upset a little pick, and that's going to allow her teammate to take it in. Being safe, being smart, taking contact when they need to, just waiting for it to open up, waiting for the right opportunity to come up, and there it is there. Great finish. Really well done. Under five remaining here in this final. The kick on the way, and it's no good. And a tough angle for the near side touchline by Kiwi who scored the try their cornerstone on their success. Five consecutive tries for them after falling behind 5 nothing. Four different players have scored the tries. They have found it. And you played in these, you know. It takes a little bit of time. It takes a game or two, right? I mean, this week has been real good, but next week should be even better, right, in D.C.? Uh, absolutely. I mean, all these players are coming together from so many different clubs and countries. And the continuity just builds every single game, every training session. It all continues to build, and we're seeing that sometimes, you know, some teams get it quicker than others, and we're seeing that here today with the loggerheads. Yep. Penalty call going in favor of the expert. Experts, there's a loose boot out on the pitch there, and that's the left boot of Jessica Liu there. Hannah Lopez getting the yellow <laughs> card. I think the ref was saying that she's trying to slow it down. Okay. Just a bit cheeky from the veteran. Lou said, I don't need my left boot. I'm just going to play without it. She's playing without it. <laughs> hey, Number 11 in green. Sometimes you just got to get it done. Oh, here we go. Yep. Opportunity here. The experts need something to get their momentum back in this match. Can they finish this? It sure looks like they're going to take this 
Jed, and they are. She'll drift into the middle to make the kick a little bit easier there. And that is put down and put away. And it's now 31 to 10 on the try. Great little wraparound here, and then the speed from Adagoki outlasting. And again, she's one of these players, the experts in the next two tournaments need to find a way to get her the ball in space. She is dangerous. And they'll be looking to expand on that after these next two tournaments. Susan Adagoki with the try. 31-10, the score with 2.25 to play. The ball in the positions that they need to. So the experts are going to need to find how to do that. The kick into the hands of Opetti. She scored a try here today for the Loggerheads. Played it to the back there. And Cicero had to go through her hands. Now they get possession of it. Just a bit unlucky trying to swat defend. And again, you know, player safety is paramount. They're, they're really cracking down on high tackles, as they should. You know, we, we, we want it to be a, a fun and exciting game, but we also want it to be a safe game. And being a player, I really appreciate that. You men and the women that play this sport, the respect. You don't see the injuries you think you'd see in this sport, in my opinion. It's played with smarts and respect and class. And I love that about the sport. Coming up on a minute remaining here, the men's final comes up next. Dallin Stanford will call it with Madison Hughes. Ryan Mattias will head to the pitch. I'm going to go watch that one down there with you. Do the post game work. Here come the experts, and they're going to get a late one here inside of a minute to go. And that one put away and put down by Summer Harris Jones. Summer Harris Jones showing her experience here, hitched up on the outside. And again, this is what Zach Test wants to see wants to see these players put their hands up. Emily Bidewell wants to see these players put their hands up. They want to see the players that they select that live down at the Olympic Training Center, even in a game such as this where, you know what, it, it may be a foregone conclusion, but they want to see those players competing and giving everything they have. And that's exactly what Summer is doing here. Yep. You can't just play big when the moments are big. You got to play big in every moment, right? Exactly. Yeah. Consistency. And that, that's what you need to have when you're on the World 7 Series. You need to be a consistent player, regardless of what's going on on the pitch. If you're down by a lot, if you're up by a lot, you need to be consistent. Yep. You hear the horn there, but still going on here. This is the women's final. 31-15 in favor of the Loggerheads, and that is the match here in San Jose. The Loggerheads take the women's final in the championship, and they'll get the hardware here in the first of three series here in the month of July.